Hello, this is Brian Lane and my Relentless Forward Progress. I hope you enjoy this knowledge from the locals coming from Gore Mountain. Have a great ski day. Questions. So, Lucas, what's your favorite run up here as a local? Uh, either Dark Side Plates or Wild Air. Cool. How about you guys? Favorite run? Uh, Twister. Yeah, me too. I like Twister. What about I you? I like Twister. I also like uh, Cloud and Headwaters. And how many years you guys been coming up here? We've, we're from here originally, and um, but now we're 70, so we cruise more than we race. <laughs> Gore is a very uh, family-friendly mountain. It's a great place to start little kids, and it's a lifelong sport. And yeah. There's a, it's a good cruising mountain. There are some steeps, and um, we, I, I do see rumor and lie sometimes, but um, if you just want to ski and not think much, it's a great cruising mountain. And you heard her, 70 years old, she does rumor and lies. Yeah. So what would you tell people about Gore that they wouldn't normally know? Yeah, stay away. <laughs> That'd be just perfect. <laughs> What's your guys' favorite run? My favorite's Twister. <laughs> I don't care. Any run with good snow? Yeah. Sagamore. Yeah. Like yeah. Over the time we've skied yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, they've done a lot of improvements. The ski bowl they've added over the last few years is really nice. They're trying to connect it down to the village a little bit. Um, not sure if it's open today. It's a little difficult to get back and forth. There's a one long chute. But, uh, and what's the name a, of that trail? It's over to the ski bowl, mm -hmm. which is near the village bar. Pipeline bowl. is what gets pipeline you over, there, over the pipeline. Yeah. Pipeline, yeah, pipeline. Over, they opened a lot more woods, you yep. know, like glades. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. So over at Burnt Ridge, off of Sagamore, there's uh, Boreas Glades. There's, um, what's the bark other? Bark Eater. Bark Eater. Bark Eater. Yep. Real oh, high speed awesome. chair, very comfortable. Yes. So they've been adding uh, every year, it seems like, which is amazing for a New York State owned mountain. Yeah. But, uh, and up yeah. at the top, the saddle lodge this year. Oh, the improvement is phenomenal. What she's talking about is right at the top of this lift. We got a new uh, heating hot. That's the well, warming hot. Oh, warming hot here, that's yeah. That's awesome. And then dude. the saddle lodge. Saddle lodge. Yeah, definite over there. Improvement. And that's the saddle lodge over there from the top of, uh, that's Fairmount, I think, over there, right? Yeah. 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 They expanded that by probably. Almost doubled it, probably. I love it. I love it. it looks great. Yeah, it looks great. I love this it. This is awesome up here, though, and I like Do it, family. Jack! Oh, there he is. Hit it, baby! Woohoo! <laughs> Jack! You're looking good! So, for someone that hasn't been to Gore, what's someone, what is something that would help them when they got here to just be able to get around a little easier? Uh, well... I don't know. It's not a great snowboarder mountain, I'll tell you that. I don't like to give negatives, but to keep snowboarders away, I will. Uh. Well, there's a lot of places, I think, that they have to walk, you know, to yeah. get from one place to another. Um, but the mountain is great because usually if there's one place that's kind of iffy, there's always another side of the mountain. You know, that's what I like about it. So There's rarely lift lines because everybody's spread out. Yeah. My favorite thing about Gore is, I'm, I'm that adventurer that likes to do every run at a mountain while I'm there, if I can, right? right so right. so for me, all I do is try and find the best runs and snow for that day, and then I'll just repeat the runs on that run, right? right, like, right, right. And then a day like this, when it's great, you can just do so much, you don't have to repeat anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love it. We'll do like uh, the Sagamore Glade and maybe the Cirque, I'm right, hoping. I've never right. been in either one of those, so. Right. Oh, Cirque is amazing. Yeah. It's open. I it's hope. a long, long tree run. That's the other thing I like though too, in the glades, they have shorter runs, they have easier run, like the Haas glades are wide open, you know, for, for beginners. I think that's the place to go and kind of learn how to be in the woods. I agree. And know? Otter Slide is a lot like that too. That's yeah. that's a little bit easier yep. over there, yeah. Yep. You just kind of cruise right through, you know? What do you guys want to tell people about Gore that maybe they wouldn't know? Um, go over to the Burnt Ridge area when it's really crowded because no one goes there. It's like, you have to ski skate to it, but it's really good. So explain the uh, Eagle's Nest crossover a little bit for people. Well... Or not the Eagle's Nest, I'm sorry, the Cedars crossover. Yeah. Sorry, thank you. Um, 
if they're not racing on it, go Twister's Little Sister so you can get some speed into yeah, it. You get momentum, you get a good, but, good momentum to get over there and you can, momentum will carry you over there almost all the way. They race on it a lot, so it's hard to get over there, but I mean, it's pretty, it's long and you really have to ski skate, but it's manageable and once you get there, it's really good. Yeah. I, I totally agree. I love Sagamore and Echoes. It's, it's a long trail. Yeah. So you really get some good skiing in over there. Yeah. Now, have you guys done the glades off of Burnt Ridge at all? Yeah, I've done the um, Sagamore glades and the Bark Eater glades and the Talus glades, which are kind of off of hedges. Mm -hmm. Talus are the easiest, no doubt. Yeah, Talus are definitely the easiest because they're really, really wide and not steep at all. Also, the ski bowl is really nice. 46 is a double black that most people don't know about. And the glaze off of those are also very good. You start out in a line down below, but then you don't wait in lines. You, can, you don't have to wait in line all day, really, compared to other bigger mountains, I think. It's really spread out. My son and I call this our adventure mountain. Yeah, you can def like even like we ski here every weekend, and it's a different experience every time. Definitely. So, how long have you been a pass holder? Oh, man. Years, <laughs> years, lots of years. I'd say ten years, maybe. What do you like best about Gore? Variety. Yeah, the variety of trails. So, what's your favorite trail, Gore? Oh boy, I like Sagamore. I like wild air, and I, I probably like even, you know, Chattamack when it's got good snow on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's one of my favorites, too. Yeah. So how long have you been coming up here? How many years? Since I was a teenager. So you've seen a lot of changes here? Yes, lots you, of changes. Do you like the changes? Yes. Um, there used to be really long lines. The lifts are high speed. They are able to deal with crowds and get the lines going and get people, you know, not waiting too long. We used to wait an hour and a half in the line at the bottom of the chair, but no more. <laughs> I was with a bunch of guys in January and they were talking about the red gondola and yeah. it was kind of an event. Like they maybe would do 10 runs in a day. Yeah, yeah. Because of the, the length of time on lifts. Yeah, the uh, red gondola was only four people who could fit in it. So this is a big improvement. Yeah. Cool. Well, thank it's, you. It's just amazing, the variety, you know, they've got a lot of nice blue trails, green trails, and then hard trails, and then they open glades. I don't do glades. I hope you liked the video. Remember to subscribe to Brian Lane's Relentless Forward Progress. Hit that like button, and also hit the bell for notifications. I will be submitting new material throughout the year, so you can plan for your ski trips. Have a great ski day.